Ni katika eneo la makaburi ya Wakristu town ya Maungu ambapo kulikuwa na tetesi kwamba eneo hili la makaburi limeweza kuuziwa OCS wa eneo hili la Maungu. <tos> Mwana Solovea wa kaunti ya Taita Taveta bwana Waidhaka aliweza kuongoza zoezi la upimaji wa eneo nzima la makaburi pamoja na eneo la kona ya mashujaa almaarufu Heroes Kona eneo lizikwalo mashujaa tajika na kubainisha kuwa makaburi yalikuwa salama isipokuwa sehemu ndogo upande wa kona ya mashujaa ilikuwa imemegwa na aliyekuwa amepakana na eneo hilo na kumuzia OCS wa area ya Maungu. Ukasema kuna hii reli, hii Kenya Railways eh, ile tambo. Kuna pipeline iko kule. Alafu kuna hii pipeline ya maji iko mahali hapa yenye tulikuwa tunatoka kutoka Kuga. Now if we look at the map, hii pipeline imepita, ukiangalia vile imepita, inapitia ndani ya cemetery. Mm -hmm. Si ndio hivyo. Mm. So you are to consider mahali imepitia kwa cemetery. Mm -hmm. sasa kutoka hapo unaona cemetery bado upande huu wa juu kuna space eh? So tukatoka kutoka mahali cemetery me, ili, pipeline imeingia kwa cemetery. Mm -hmm. Tukapima hizo measurements mpaka kule juu. Alafu kuna vipimo vidogo hapa mpaka hapa ambapo tumeweka kuna point nyingine pale. Mm -hmm. Although kutoka hapa hatuna shida juu inafaa kwenda mpaka kwa rail. Kwa rail hakuna yeah. nafaa kwa ndani. Yeah, so hiyo yeah. hatuna shida. Yeah. The other thing that we to consider ni kutoka kwa ile pipeline mm -hmm. ya kule ile ya ya petroli ya mafuta. Ya mafuta. Si ndio? Mm. Tukaanza kule. Lakini after kupima kule ndio tukaona hapa tuko ukiang, sijui kama kuna inaitwa ni Heroes, Heroes Corner. Heroes Corner. Mmesema Heroes Corner mm -hmm. ndio inapakana na cemetery. Yes. Mm -hmm. So nyinyi ndio mnafaa kujua kwamba after vipimo vya cemetery mm -hmm. kuna faa kuwa na ile tunasema Heroes, Heroes Corner. Corner. Then from there ndio tupata hizo commercial hili kwa commercial what? Commercial plots eh? mm -hmm. Yes. So basically sisi hatutaki kubadilisha hii. What you are saying ni kwamba mm -hmm. vile sahi tumetoa hii sababu hii pipeline ya maji hii mm -hmm. tumeipata mahali iko. Mm -hmm. That what we are going to use. Na because really tunajua mahali iko na mpaka saa hii iko na hakuna wakati imebadilishwa mm. itabaki hivyo mpaka nyuma yote ni cemetery. Mm. Okay. Tukotoka kwa hii point mpaka pale tukishuka straight makaburi. Makaburi. Hii nafaka kwa makaburi. Niko na swali kidogo. Yes. Na ile tulianzia hapa Kenya pipeline uh -huh. tulikuja 420. Uh -huh. Ilikuwa 420 tulikuwa tumefika kwa hii mark uh -huh. ama tulikuwa tumefika kwa hii ama kwa. Unajua why nilimwambia tuzitumie? Uh -huh. The only thing yenye tunajua ni kwamba haijabadilika. Si ndio iko pale? Mm. Lakini kumbuka tukipima kutoka pale kama sasa hii tukiwekelea hapa. Tukiwekelea hapa. Extreme end ya ya nini? Oh. Ya cemetery. Mpaka Mengi gabi? Ni 420. Mm -hmm. Sini 420 mm -hmm. from the center line to mwanzo wa cemetery. cemetery. So kutoka so ilikuwa inamaanisha kutoka kule mpaka hapa mwisho wa cemetery ilikuwa inafaa kwa 4 420. But tukipima tofauti mm -hmm. imekuja ngapi? Kwa tofauti kama kama 7 sasa, 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 pale? Ndio sasa that's why unaona niko na huyu physical plan hapa. Mm -hmm. Sababu this thing kwa ground si unaona sasa tumejaribu tulikuwa tuna interpret this. Mm -hmm. What you have seen ni kwamba hii pipeline mahali iko ya mafuta. Mm -hmm. Tukitoka huko tuje huku as we move along you see hiyo distance ni kubwa. Mm -hmm. Which means the more tunaenda mm -hmm. the more tunaenda era ikiwa ku barabara. So by the time mm -hmm. tunafika mm -hmm. another thing kumbuka tumefuata tumefuata hayo mm. is it mm -hmm. tulikuwa tunafuata hayo hatukufuata mm. hatukufuata mm. boundary yet boundary. so we expect era iwe lakini sasa ndio tulikuwa tunasema mm. the only thing yenye tulikuwa nao ni kwamba tuwe na points references sasa hivi tulikuwa na references points ngapi tatu, tatu. tulikuwa na tatu you see zina to improve accuracy yetu mm -hmm. tungetumia hiyo peke yake tungepotoka tungetumia reli hata hiyo peke yake tukitumia peke yake tungepotoka but you see tuna relate na zote tatu mm. that's the best thing about it but the other thing ni kwamba hizi maps huwa ziko na some the allowances za uh, accuracy the accuracy of this whatever positive this, minus plus or minus ngapi uh, nafaa kwa plus or minus Manake. for planning okay. si, unaona kama ni 250 
Kama uonavyo kwa picha Kona ya mashujaa inaanzia hapo palipo mwago wa changarawe na kokoto Ikielekea moja kwa moja kushikana na makaburi Hii ni kubainisha kuwa changarao na kokoto ilio mwagwa Iko sehemu ya kona ya mashujaa Na kubaini kuwa sehemu ile ilikuwa imemegwa kwa kiasi kidogo Tulipo toka makuburini kulikuwa na tetesi kwamba kuna eneo ambalo lingejengwa jumba la kongamano ama social hall hapa maungu na wanaharakati kadhaa walikuwa wamedai kwamba eneo ambalo mweshimiwa ama MCA wa eneo hili la marungu alikuwa mejenga ndipo palikuwa pajengwe social hall ama eneo ama jumba la kongamano. Basi tulipo toka hapa tuliandamana moja kwa moja hadi kuelekea eneo lile. Lakini kwa bahati mbaya he Ramani haikuweza kulalia upande wao. Ramani iliweza kuonyesha kwamba eneo ambalo lingejengwa social hall ni mbali kabisa na eneo ambalo MCA wa eneo hili alikuwa amejenga. Hilo basi limefunza wana harakati wa eneo hili kwamba wa kabla hawajachukua hatua ya kuekelea mtu mawe basi ni vyema waweze kufanya uchunguzi. Hello, <laughs> 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 So he plot in the so kwanzia nyuma hapo paka hii inakuja kwa nini inaonekana na inakuja kwa barabara inakuja kwa hii nini put 8 you can go confirm put 8 confirm 48 jose confirm 48 ni gani angalia 48 48 
you have to consider Pakas. Hospital is a big deal. Yeah. You yeah. see how big it is? Yeah. Yeah. So in a man, you have to go here and you have to go to Pakas. Mwale <laughs> Baada ya mchakato huo wa kutafuta ploti nambari 47 ambapo ndipo jumba la kongamano ama social hall inafaa kujengwa wanaharakati wa maungu waliomba mwana Solovea bwana Waidhaka kuwapimia eneo hilo walakini muda na mipangilio ya kifedha ya kaunti haikuwaruhusu kuendelea na zoezi hilo hivyo basi aliomba apewe hadi wiki ijayo Jumanne kutoa majibu kamili ya uendelezi wa zoezi hilo. Ah, excuse, excuse. The important thing ya leo ilikuwa kuanza fish wood. Yeah. But remember hata tukifika kuanza leo ni sababu tulisema tukisema tu tugojee mambo ya serikali kupanga miradi yake wewe inachukua muda. Mm. So sasa hivi tumeanza. Yeah. What you have already done, already since tushafanya communication with our superiors, mm. we are waiting for that. Remember kuna kitengo cha fedha ambacho lazima kiende through the process zenye huwa zinafuata. Mm. Na kabla hata iende kwa finance lazima hiyo imepitia kwa watu wengine. Mm. So that one is si kitu ya siku moja but what we are saying ni kwamba sasa hivi tumeanzisha with the cemetery. Eh? So what we are doing ni kwamba tutaenda tujaribu tuone how fast we can be doing them. Hata kama si zote at once tunakuja tunafanya moja tunakuja tena tunafanya nyingine tuende hivyo tukifanya zote. Si ndio hivyo? Mm -hmm. The only guarantee yenye iko ni kwamba tutaanza sasa hivi tushaanza. So we are going to continue. But timeline yake we don't know how long inaweza chukua sababu hatutagoja kwanza tuchukue budget ya zote. We are going to consider tunafanya moja moja. So kwa hivyo tutaanza kujipanga sasa. Alafu pia na nyinyi kwa vile mmefanya hivyo hivyo tu mjaribu ku pressure sababu sisi peke yetu haitawezekana. We also need to enforce it. Eh, eh tayari mradi ushaanza kwa nini usiendelee? You see? Mkienforce hivyo hata sitojipata lazima tuje. Mm. Eh. Hey. Sawa sawa. Nikiripoti kutoka Marungu mimi ni Joram Kilonzo.